Hi, welcome to my first video ever on this YouTube channel. Hopefully I'll keep this thing going and make it interesting and informative for you. This is video number one. So today I'm going to show you how to set up astrophotography gear for deep sky astro imaging. I have an equatorial mount and a refractor and if you have gear like that um, and you're just getting into the hobby maybe this video is helpful to you. My name is John Robinson, the Astrotard and you're watching the Deep Sky Channel. Okay, a bit of introduction first. So I have a Skywatcher EQ6R Pro equatorial mount. Oh man, there goes a convertible 1967 Mustang. Sorry, distracted. Oh, that's cool. It's a fastback, not a convertible. Definitely a 67 though. Sorry, I love cars as well as stars and guitars. Hey, that rhymes. Uh, so yeah, I have a Skywatcher EQ6R Pro equatorial mount. Here's a picture of it. And then I also have the uh, Skywatcher uh, OTA that goes with it. The uh, Skywatcher e Esprit 120 ED APO triplet. So it's a refractor. It's a triplet because it's got three lenses in there, which basically means the three lenses uh, cause the focal point uh, before the red, green, and the blue wavelengths of light to all uh, focus at the same point <laughs> in front of the camera. Uh, I actually shoot with a mono camera. I have a uh, ASI ZWO 1600 mono. A lot of you guys have that CMOS camera out there. Very capable, very light sensitive, uh, and very high resolution. It was a bit of a learning curve, but uh, I, I think I finally mastered it. And uh, now I want to start to share what I know. The first thing you want to get is some vibration dampeners. Because, uh, you know, depending on where you set up, whether it's on grass or whether it's on concrete, you want to put the vibration dampeners in there so that it's, they're sort of absorbed, you know, as you walk around and check on your gear while you're imaging. So you got the, your vibration dampeners down, you got your tripod legs down, and you got yourself facing basically north. You're probably doing this at, at twilight or at dusk or maybe when the sun is still up so that you can kind of see which way you're pointing. The next thing you want to do is check to make sure that your mount is level. Absolutely crucial. Make sure your bubble level is, uh, is, is uh, smooth and level. And the next thing you want to do is bubble check on your home position. So you move the uh, right ascension uh, of the mount into the horizontal position like this. And then you put your uh, bubble level on there and you get the thing level. And once you have it level, then you go ahead and mark your zero position like this, as I'm showing you here. Then you rotate it back 90 degrees back to where it should be. And then you do the same thing for the deck. You, uh, you rotate the the deck and you get that to the bubble level of zero and then you set your mark position and you put that rotate it 90 degrees and you're good to go uh, what I do before I put my telescope on here is do a rough polar alignment. The way I do that is with a little app that I that I downloaded from my cell phone I, on iPhone. It's called PS Align Pro. Okay, you take the L bracket and you wrap the rubber band uh, around the L bracket and the smartphone. Here you can see I've got the app with the no polar alignment launched here. And uh, then you simply place it here up in the uh, saddle. I've clamped it down. And what you can see here is this little uh, bullseye. Now 
Now PS Align Pro has a, a capability where you can uh, use a daylight mode and it'll sort of guide you and give you a general rough outline using your uh, GPS coordinates of where uh, the polar north is. And now you're basically ready to put your scope on. So here you can see I'm uh, putting the scope on here. I'm clamping it in place and uh, from there it's uh, just a process of putting your cables on and connecting everything up. Now for my case I have the uh, the refractor uh, is connected to a moonlight autofocuser coming out of the autofocuser uh, in, inside of the autofocuser I have a field flattener provided by Skywatcher and then autofocuser connects to the filter wheel I have a seven position filter wheel with 36 millimeter filters unmounted in here and then that connects up to the uh, the actual imaging sensor itself the ZWO the rest of this video is focused on connecting your your cables to your mount and managing your your cable routing well, that's it for this video. I appreciate you watching. Tune in for future videos where we'll cover such topics as calibration frames, flats, and darks. And we'll get into some of the software, PixInsight, Sequence Generator Pro, and uh, those kinds of things. So I hope you enjoyed this. Tune in next time. We look forward to seeing you. Thanks. Oh, and don't forget, hit subscribe if you found this interesting.